So here's a question for you. Um, and mm-hmm. this question has two parts. One is that what comes to your mind uh, uh, as, a, as a marketing technique uh, to get the first few customers to, to actually give the comfort that, yeah, I can do this? I think before I even, if, if I were to do this from scratch, let's say if, um, I, I have a tutorial and I want to kind of find out my first few customers, um, I would go, I would take a step back and first of all, uh, try and, you know, find an audience, find a community that I can relate to, uh, start contributing to it, understand their pain points because the product is finally a buy uh, or a buy product of what you learn of, learn about that community and then you see that okay can i add value to the community and then uh, then one starts actually executing on the product maybe the it could be a v0 v1 v2 v2 of the product and that that iterates but the most critical thing if you ask me is one uh, identify your area of expertise uh, something that you know you can uh, what feels like uh, work for others but play for you so that you can keep on doing it again and again. Uh, engage with, with folks in that community. Now, to be more specific, it could be, let's say I could join some uh, Discord servers around that topic, uh, or as basic as, you know, I could just start engaging with Redditors on that particular uh, thread. Or let's say I could join some Slack communities and just see what, what people are saying. And when I kind of find that, okay, fine, this is the recurring pattern. Like, And I'll give you an example. So I'm a part of some of these Slack communities on growth. On one of the communities, I found uh, a person pasted a Google sheet of all the research links or all the MarTech uh, tools that the person had, had evaluated. And that got rave reviews. You know, everybody was like, you know, it was almost like a dead uh, community and suddenly it came to life and I saw double digit engagement on it, people giving high fives and all of that. So again, coming back, so to your question of, you know, what I created, uh, how would I acquire my first few customers when I created tutorial? Uh, when you take an audience first approach, um, while you're engaging with, with the audience itself, you can actually release let's say one chapter or one section of the tutorial saying that, Hey, you know what I'm working on, working on this, we find this useful and see how the audience reacts to it. Mm. Now the odds of success are far higher because one, you understand the audience's pain points. Uh, you really like what, what you're doing because you know, otherwise you would have not engaged with, with that community mm. because you have engaged with, with folks within that community. They are also likely to give you, uh, uh, you know, very valid feedback rather than just saying, rather than just ignoring you. Or giving you, or telling you just because, telling you good stuff just because you have launched. Mm. And then you start de- developing on it again and again and again. So that's that's the approach that I would take. And the folks in the community would become your first uh, first few set of customers. And then you would kind of take it, take it up from there. 